Uh, this is a video on uh, how I create something like a shell. This one I use uh, this uh, image for the bump map. And let's start. So, first I start with a sketch. And the structure of the sketch uh, defines a PC curve with the poles here, here, here and here and the other points are the tangent indicators. So the first step is uh, to create a bounding uh, bearing. So this is the border curve of uh, my object. I hide the sketch. Next step from here uh, I create a morphed face. Uh, no, uh, it's a mistake. I have to use at the moment still the sketch. So this is the border face. And now I can change uh, some parameters. Uh, I take here the full screen. Parameters are uh, the pull force. I say I want to get here uh, a height of 400. And I want to move uh, the top a little bit into the x direction, minus 100. So we can see how it moves, minus 150. So this is the simple NURBS surface. If I click here and see the structure, then it's very a simple surface. And now the next step is I uh, put a uh, image onto this uh, object. So now I have the image on it. I hide the first layout and I get this. In this case I have a test image and now uh, I want to use this image so I have to change the pass here to the other pass. Okay, and I update. And we see this structure. We already see uh, this fine uh, structure here. And now I can change the factor here. I say minus 50 uh, to push down some areas here inside and I get this once more we compare both images here the image of the pump map we see here the pattern this is uh, the pattern here is at in this area we see here this area in this area and so on and now um, next step is I can change the layout uh, of the surface. So I go back to the sketch and I say uh, it should be here a little bit into this direction. And I want to change this place. And so on. And so I can change uh, the border of my shell object, I can change the height of my shell object and the point of the top and also the layout of the pump map. <laughs> 